crazy. The big, fat, sloppy, drunk bastards. They actually did something worthwhile, guys. Chicken here, bringing you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be using Grenadier. So, disclaimer, I suck with grenadiers like it's not it's really not gonna be pretty guys but we're gonna be trying it out what better way to learn than to make a video and have all of you guys get a laugh out of how much the chicken sucks with grens but uh, I wanted to use them because I just got the fire spike tribe maxed out and we only need uh, 500,000 more stone to get enough raw crystals to boost it fully so hopefully we can get that done on today's Dr. Terrence guys so let's go ahead and let's just dive on into it. Now, obviously, 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 you're going to want to use uh, medics with your grenadiers. But this is just for the first few stages. I'm hoping that we can actually get um, enough boost, enough uh, stone, sorry, out of the first couple stages to be able to just kind of rip right through it uh, nice and quickly. So the reason for not bringing medics in the first, like, stage one to four is just to be able to blast through them uh, even that much faster. So let's just go ahead. Let's just... Um, Let's just launch a bunch of GB down onto the HQ, guys, and boom. All right, so stage one. So, so far, no real big uh, problems or anything. So, big shout out to the commenter of the day, and that's going to be Hoozle Wonkle. And Hoozy said, damn it, I can't pull it up now. Um, Hoozy said uh, something good. So, we threw him up into the chicken banner. Hey, we almost didn't get it there. Um, okay, so let's launch out the Grens over here, guys. So,. Grenadiers, some things to look out for, I'm told boom cannons, cannons, and sniper towers are going to be what you have to look out for. And of course, basically, like, there's there's not much that Grenadiers um, are good for other than outranging a bunch of stuff. So, like, uh, unless you're unless you're uh, going up against a bunch of normal sized cannons where the Grens can outposition them, depending on where they are, you basically have to look out for everything, guys. So... With Grenadiers, it's a lot of strategy. It's a lot about just being in the right position and moving them around in the correct way. Um, so here's what I'm going to do for this base, guys. I'm going to actually start them over here on the left. So we don't have to worry about these rockets. And we can actually work... Um, we can we can just bark them right out as we go here. So, But yeah, the, the Grens do insane amounts of damage. With the, with the max tribe boost, uh, I believe they're doing similar damage to... Um, to Zookas. Like, a boat, of, a boat of Grens, I think, is doing similar damage to a boat of Zookas or something like that. So, um, yeah, either way, let's uh, let's just keep flaring them up this way. We're gonna stay out of the way of mines and stuff. We're just kind of getting the hashtag Chicken Talons warmed up at this point, guys. So, um, yeah, nothing too, too crazy, I guess. Nothing really crazy is going on in Boom Beach lately other than the thing I see the most anyways, people complaining about bugs and complaining that um, nobody's fixing them because the team's on vacation or whatever. And I said in the live stream, guys, I'm not sure when they're actually back or whatever. So maybe, it, maybe it'll be fixed by Monday. Maybe not. Uh, I'm talking about Brick's flare thing. So I don't know. To the chicken, it's not that game breaking. Yes, it is annoying, but um, I don't know. Um, so do you guys think? Is it too early to start getting excited about um, Mega Crab? What is it, six or seven? Right? Is it too early to get start getting excited about the next Mega Crab? Or is the chicken just look, going a little bit crazy here? Um, Alright, so stage four. We still don't need medics yet, in the chicken's opinion. And I forget to... I've been forgetting to check how much stone that we have, but I assume it's not that much. I mean, it's probably like 30, 40, 50k um, on each stage so far. So maybe we're maybe we're a quarter of the way there, guys. Um, but yeah, do you think it's it's too early to get excited about the next Mega Crab? I said in the live stream, that's why I'm talking about it, um, that I would like to see the next Mega Crab be something like... Um, that just incorporates every single crab that they've done. Call it like the uh, the throwback crab or something like that. Big shout out to Dan. I think he actually came up with that name. Uh, but yeah, we'll get some uh, we'll get some battle orders going up here. Look at the damage they're doing. This is actually pretty crazy. Like, cause usually Grens take like five years to do anything, but like, look at that man. They're just blasting through this HQ. I know it's only stage four, but it's cool to see Grens actually move somewhat quickly. Um, and I guess also a big shout out to the day, down below in the newest subscriber banner, uh, Harry Briggs. So thank you for subscribing, man. And stage five, guys, stage five. So how much stone do we have? 3.2, we need 3.5 um, to get this done. Now, how much stone does this guy have? Can we quickly squeeze in a player base here, guys? Uh, he's got 100K. 
that's a very easy warrior base. I think we could do that without adding too much time to the video. What do you guys think? Um, actually, I think we have stone over here, don't we? 320,000. Wow, that's a whole mess of stone. Wait, is that all we needed? That was all we needed, guys. That's all we needed. So forget the player base. Let's manually load up uh, the Grens again. And we're going to be able to get them uh, their damage maxed out, which is going to be great. So um, obviously I'm unboosted right now. Um, so it's not going to be like over the top insane, but this is going to be how they're used, right? Like if, if you want to do um, crazy goofy attacks, then I mean you would just boost anyways, right? So we'll get the we'll get the, the Grand Meds loaded up like this and let's boost up the Fire Spike Tribe. But first let's make, get out of my way. Let's, first let's make this and now we got 300 there so we can fully boost out of this bad boy. So Grenadier damage plus 60%. Let's take a look at what they're actually doing here. Where's my armor? Um, armory, where are you? There you are. Um, okay, so Grens, damage per second, 222 plus 259. That's pretty crazy. So they'd probably be doing close to 1,000 damage per second if um, all the statues were boosted up, which is pretty crazy. All right, so we got uh, Sergeant Brick with them. I think that's going to be the best hero. Maybe not. Um, we might bring Caveman out at some point, but either way, let's just go ahead and launch him out uh, down here like this. And like I said, the things to worry about are going to be the, the typical things. Uh, boom cannons, normal cannons, rocket launchers, shock launchers are going to be big. Um, but I mean, for stage 5, we could probably just uh, run through everything here. Let's actually keep them somewhat in position. Um, I want to take this flamethrower and machine guns out of the way nice and quickly. And then we're going to move up over this left side here. And <clears throat> the Grens actually have this cool new sound animation. It's like... I don't know how to explain it. It's more like high tech, I guess is the word you would say. It's it's like bloop 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 bloop. Like they're kind of like robots or something. I don't know, guys. Um, either way, either way, we're making it up onto the HQ. And apparently, the trick with Grens to get them in nice and close is to get them in nice and close, and then they're going to shoot more accurately and do much more damage. So we'll get the battle wars up. And look at this, guys. Look at this. I mean, for Grens, they're absolutely plowing through the HQ. Like, look at that. It's at, You can actually see it go down, which is pretty crazy. Now, let's take a look at the machine gun blind zone and see if this is actually working. Yeah, you see that? The machine gun does not target the critters, so we're going to get some free GBE out of this. Obviously, there's stuff behind them shooting them, but if it was just the machine gun, we would be able to take that down with just critters because of the, the little blind zone in it now. So, stage 5 goes down pretty easily. Um, so far, not hating the Grenadiers too much, guys. Um... So let's see what stage 6 has, has in store for us. So this is going to depend a lot on what the layout actually looks like. Um, so we got to go left, I think, eh? Or do we? Hmm. Let's try the right side first. If it doesn't work, we'll go left. Um, so some things we want to take out here. Let's go with this boom cannon. Let's go with this stuff. Now, I think these defenses look pretty low level. So we might be okay here to take most of it out, actually. And the good thing with Grens is, obviously, they don't cost any GB, so you can kind of take your time uh, before landing them. Now, I'm going to save those four on the beach just for a shock, because that just looks like a really nice shock right there. And we'll take out this stuff. One more. And boom. All right, so we'll get this going out like that. We'll get some critters out over here. And I was late on that shock, but uh, hopefully we can make up for that. And my plan was going to be just to kind of run away from this boom cannon on the left. Uh, so let's see if we can do that. I missed that flare again, man. Damn. Uh, that cost us... That only cost us one grand and... Uh, two grands and two medics. So, I mean, it could have been worse. Okay, Brick, please stop being a meat shield. Um, you can do that later on in the attack, and that's going to be fine. But for now, we'd prefer if you just stay behind all the troops. Uh, so let's go up this way next. And let's get a nice battle orders going up here just to kind of... Just so the those buildings that don't really have that much health are just gone. They're just out of the way. We don't have to deal with them anymore. Um, now there is that one boom cannon left. And there's also that shock launcher left. And Brick is determined to run out ahead of all the troops here. So let's actually throw some critters up on this boom cannon. That's going to distract the boom cannon as well as the shock launcher. Which we really need to get out of the way. Um, I have one shock but I'm going to save it. Hopefully those critters can deal with that, uh, that boom cannon for us. Um, we're going to go ahead and shock now. And, alright, so we got another shock loaded up. Um, now the tricky thing is here, 
I can't uh, flare them any closer because then they're all going to be together. But now I can because the shock launcher is gone. So we can actually flare them up right like this. We're only worried about this rock launcher and we're going to be able to blast through stage 6 here guys. So I'm liking the extra damage grants. Now I'm not hating them. I'm not hating them too much I guess I should say. Um, and we're going to get another medkit going on there. And look at this man. Like we're just ripping through this base. So hopefully stage 7 isn't that bad. This would be my first unboosted ever. Ever. Like maybe even anything takedown with with, uh, with unboosted grants. So... There we go, there we go, stage 6 goes down. So maybe all you, uh, Gren fanatics out there, you have to be a pretty hardcore, like, Boom Beach player to be, like, a, a Gren main, but maybe you're not that crazy, guys. Maybe you're not that crazy. So we got a crystal there, and let's, uh, destroy this guy, and let's dive in to stage 7 here. So we're not gonna scout, we don't need to scout. What a weird-looking base. This is kind of strange, isn't it? Um, we want to go left, don't we, and just kind of miss everything? Hmm, I'm thinking that's the plan because I mean we have Grins, right? So we might as well use their uh, their positioning skills to our advantage. What I meant to say there was just use their range to our advantage, not their positioning skills. I don't know what. Sometimes words just come out of the chicken's mouth, guys. They don't necessarily mean anything. Um, all right, so we got the medics going up like this. Machine guns, do not touch them, please. Now we can start getting to work on uh, these guys up here, right, like that, and like this, and we'll take this out, we'll take that out, and we'll just kind of damage some stuff up in here, because the Grens are going to get a ton of splash damage going regardless. Um, so let's actually throw some critters down on the shock launcher, because we don't need that. Look at the, look at these two, look at, uh, look at uh, these two Grens over here, just going crazy. Um... Let's flare them all the way back, get, uh, look at, look at how fat they are, they're just freaking, they're, they're, they can like barely walk, they're so wide, they're just like giant elephants or something, I don't know, chicken, um, giant elephants, that's, uh, that's good, um, alright, so everyone's focused on healing up brick, and all we gotta do is really make our way up on this left side, and I think we're gonna be okay here. Um, I don't see any shock launchers, which is usually the biggest concern. Let's go ahead and get a battle orders going here, guys. And they actually did it. They actually did it. The Grens are going to win this for us. This is crazy. The big, fat, sloppy, drunk bastards. They actually did something worthwhile, guys. So, I don't even have anything left to shock here. We can just... We can just throw a barrage down the HQ. We can get a battle orders going, and we can just sit back and... Get a couple uh, back, back, backs going with the chicken, and uh, and yeah, guys, it's just that easy. It's just that easy with the uh, with the tribal boosted grenadiers. Um, what do we need to do here next? Let's actually let's flare them up even closer, and then flare them onto the HQ and see if that actually helps out the damage at all. Um, it doesn't look like they actually did anything different there, other than get into range of the mortar. But I don't know, guys. I don't know. Um, they're still Grins. I mean, they're good. They're better. Don't get me wrong, but at the end of the day, they're still Grins, guys. So, I had a lot of fun um, using the Grenadiers today. So, so I guess that's going to wrap up the video today, guys. So, make sure to let me know down in the comments any different uh, Grenadier loadouts that you have. Like, do you, do you, are you a tank Gren player? I know there's a lot of people that use tank, uh, rifle, Grenadier, and Medic. Um, so, let me know some different Gren combos down below in the comments, guys. Maybe we'll try them out over the course of... Uh, this next uh, tribe cycle and just hopefully get a little bit better with Gren. So that's going to wrap it up for the video today, guys. Uh, make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. Chicken out.